Most Pokemon banned from standard play have been offensive behemoths, and it's pretty simple to understand even for new players. Some Pokemon are just too strong to deal with, with Fluttermane being a recent example. It's incredibly rare that defensive Pokemon prove too much for OU to deal with, complaints about Toxapex notwithstanding. But then there is the notable exception of Mega Sableye, which was banned from Gen 6 OU. It didn't invalidate offensive threats through sheer bulk in a way a Lugia or Giratina might. No, what Mega Sableye and its Magic Bounce did was completely shut down the indirect damage that was so key to breaking through defensive cores. The most notable example was entry hazards of course. Mega Sableye didn't beat all stealth rockers but it was easy to pair it with a defogger and make getting hazards excruciating and forget about maintaining them. Apart from hazards Mega Sableye also crucially bounced back other common stall breaking tactics like taunt as well as bouncing back toxics, will o wisps and leech seeds. Why not just use direct damage then? While beating the stall cores Mega Sableye was paired with solely through direct damage was incredibly tough. Unreasonably so. And as a result Mega Sableye was banned on the very last day of Gen 6.